When it comes to lighting, the most important thing to ask yourself is, can your audience see you? And I know that sounds obvious, but there's a lot of videos out there where the person who's talking has their face in shadow. So keep your light source in front of you and higher than the top of your head. I'm going to assume that you don't have any special lights. You're just gonna use whatever you have around the house. Desk, uh, desk light, a lamp that you've, you've grabbed from another room, or in this case, I've actually just turned on the, the lights in my office. The key here is make sure that the foreground where your face is, is brighter than the background. If you're backlit, where the background is brighter, people are not gonna be able to see your face as well. Windows are bad for that, especially if the sun comes out from behind a cloud when you're recording. Um, and keep in mind that the human eye adjusts to lighting changes better than a camera will, so you might think it's okay, and then the footage looks like poop, and you wanna avoid that. Final lighting tip. If you've set up your lighting as best you can, you have very little control, and you're finding your face is in a little too much shadow, here's what you can do. Run to your printer, grab two pieces of white paper and lay them flat. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna lay it flat below me and then move them around. You can separate them, however you wanna do it, and watch um, the light will bounce onto your face. And, and you'll see sh subtle changes. Um, it's not gonna be radical, uh, but it will soften up your features. So you're not gonna really notice it too much here because I got all fancy. I got one of these. I went to Dollarama. This is a foam board. It cost me a dollar fifty, and all I'm doing is I'm putting it below me. Uh, pardon me a second, as I I've got to watch my monitor to see the difference. And you can see the lighting change, right? And all I'm doing is tilting uh, this white board, and it's just the light bouncing on my face. So, uh, if you've got the dollar fifty to spare, highly recommend go to Dollarama. If you don't. Odds are you can find two white pieces of paper in your printer.